Hi, welcome to the Zai Associates Chula Vista office. Let's go. We spent one month to create the perfect vacation home office for the firm. I'm gonna share with you everything we thought through and how we executed it. This is the place, let's go. So when we started the design process, one of the questions we asked was, well, what is the perfect home vacation office, right? And the first thought was, well, let's create, let's replicate what we have at home. Take the best things at home and put it here. But very, very quickly, we found out that's actually not a good idea. We wanna do the exact opposite of that. If this is just a replica of home, then why don't we just stay at home? This should be everything that the home cannot be. It should be a fantasy that is unrealistic to be home. It's a vacation home and not a home for a purpose. And so we started thinking, well, what is something that's completely unrealistic that we wanna to aspire to? And that is minimalism, right? At home, if you have a family, if you have kids, you have toys everywhere, it's unrealistic to have nothing at home, to have everything clean and empty spaces. But for a vacation home, if you're only gonna be there, you know, once a month, once a year, you don't need all the stuff. You just need the necessities and you can have that aesthetic feel of that Japanese minimalism feel. One design element that we really want to focus on was having empty spaces and empty surfaces. So when you come into the space, you put your wallet, you put your keys, you put your belongings, you put your bags, and suddenly the space Space feels like is yours. And that relates to the second design element that we implemented, which is we want the space to feel like it's everyone's home, not just one person's home. You want to create a space that's very homey for everyone. So what we intentionally did is very, very little photography, very, very little art. Everything is um, wood, it's natural materials, so it makes you feel like it's your own space. So the third thing is at home, it's impractical to have a lot of things that we would like to have. Maybe you like going to the pool. I love going to the pool, but it's just impractical to have all these floaties. Well, here at the vacation office, you can have it. You can have an entire box full of pool toys. It's okay because in the garage, there doesn't need to be the normal necessities that, you, that fills up a normal garage. And the fourth thing is I didn't expect to want to cook when you're on vacation, right? If you're on vacation, you just wanna relax, you wanna order food. But actually, what it turns out is if you are here with your family, with your friends, maybe you do wanna cook because it's a new environment, it's a new space, and if you have better cooking material than you do at your own home. Again, this is your own space, your own office, so you can have the best coffee beans, you can have the best like Nespresso pods, you can have the best tea, everything well stocked with all the favorite things that you want at your fingertips, including a whole pantry full of ramen, full of snacks, that's healthy, that's unhealthy, guilty pleasures, you have all sorts of different things at your disposal. And last but not least, one of the best things about going to a hotel or Airbnb is after you enjoy the space, you don't have to worry about the cleanup. Right? That's part of the luxury. So that saves you time. You go there, you enjoy yourself, you relax, and then you can go home. Similarly, you can do that here as well. We have such good help that it's able to come and maintain everything so it's still pristine and clean every time you come here. Right? He is the amazing hand behind everything. Right, Every time we come here, afterwards and before, she makes this place feel like it's home. She's been helping us <laughs> from day one of making yeah. everything happen. I so, try my best. I try my best, but you guys have Amazing! Yeah, <laughs> she does a great so, job. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. It just feels like it's a really nice space here. And that's what we wanted to design. We had one month to execute it. We had a great designer picking out all the furniture. We had a great team to assemble everything. And we put up all the different lighting. Oh yeah, and one last thing that I forgot to mention. When you go to a hotel, one of the most annoying things for me is when you turn on TV, you have to log in to everything that you want to watch. Here, it's your own space. You turn on TV, it's already synced with everything that you normally watch. So that was the vision that we had back in February assemble everything by April and then by May we were able to be here and start enjoying the space so that's the idea thank you for watching take care bye bye welcome to Chula Vista everyone <laughs>Hi everyone, Liz and I, we are here in Chula Vista. And in this video, we kind of want to just share all the reasons why we came here. So why Chula Vista? There's a lot of reasons, and so we're just going to list them out one by one. In no particular order, number one. Chula